Kim Laird, bitte. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, in my constituency of Batley and Spen, the Palestinian flag is flown proudly by people for whom a viable, internationally recognised state of Palestine is a lifelong dream. I want that dream to be turned into a reality, but I'm under no illusion about how distant it feels and how difficult the path to achieving it is. The illegal occupation continues and the dignity and human rights of the Palestinian people are trampled upon each and every day. If we have learnt anything from the long and delicate road to peace in Northern Ireland, it's that progress is impossible without first establishing a sufficient degree of trust for genuine dialogue to take place. Long-standing and apparently irreconcilable differences can be unpicked, but only if the will to do so is there from all parties. There are clearly people of good will and good sense in both Israel and Palestine who recognise this, and their voices must be heard as we work towards a two-state solution of an independent, internationally recognised Palestine alongside a safe and secure Israel. However, when it comes to political leadership, sadly, that good sense does not always prevail. As long as leaders see political advantage within their own communities in exacerbating differences, rather than seeking areas of agreement and common ground, the road to peace remains blocked. What breaks my heart is the way that ordinary Palestinian men, women and children are having their rights denied and their hopes of a better future crushed. With no voice of their own, they rely on human rights defenders to speak up for them, which is why the Israeli government's attack on six leading civil society organisations must be unequivocally condemned. I'll give way. I thank the Honourable Member for giving me way. The cases of COVID-19 are rising in, in Gaza and the health system is almost broken. And, and people of Gaza deserve much better than this. Does he agree with me that Israel must um, stop this blockade now so the uh, health authorities can get in there so people can have vaccination and proper health care? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I agree entirely that we have to end the blockade of Gaza and it is every individual's right to health care, particularly during the pandemic. Um, in conclusion, you know, we have a decision. Are we going to condemn another generation of Palestinians to a future filled with fear, insecurity and hopelessness? Or are we going to stand shoulder to shoulder with those demanding the democratic space to criticise the status quo and defend the human rights of a people who deserve better than continued oppression and suffering because political leaders lack the courage to recognise that a better future is possible? Jeremy Corbyn.